Today we will learn how to watermark multiple images at one time in Photoshop Creative Cloud 2015.5. I am using a Mac. PCs will look a bit different, but the workflow should be essentially the same. And if you don't already have a watermark designed, I would encourage you to watch a previous tutorial for instructions on how to create your very own watermark. I'll include a link in the notes below. So the first thing that we'll need to do is open up a photo in Photoshop. So I'm going to say open and I will navigate to wherever I keep my photos and I'll pick an image. Right now we're just working on the action so it can be any photo. My workspace is set up for photography and I need to locate the actions panel. So for whatever reason, it's not where it normally would be found. So in this case, I'm going to go up to window and click on actions and then it will appear in the window on this panel. And as you can see, I have a number of actions already, some that I've made, some that I have purchased. In this case, we're going to set up for a new action. And so we're going to click on the little folder icon and create a new set. I'm going to call this watermarks and hit enter or return on the keyboard. You can see that it's made the new folder. And now I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to create new action. And whenever that dialog box comes up, I can see that it's gonna save in the set of watermarks. And this is gonna be called whatever I would like for it to be. So I'm gonna give it my name and hit record. So from this point, everything that we do is going to be recorded by Photoshop. You'll see the red record icon in the panel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File and click Place Embedded. And we're going to locate our logo. And in this case, mine is right here. Now by default, it automatically saves to the center of the screen. Your logo may be larger or smaller. This would be the time to go ahead and resize that if you need to do that. Once you've finished resizing, you're gonna click on the check mark at the top of the screen, or you can press enter or return on the keyboard. Now I'm going to show you two different things. First, if all of your images are in landscape orientation, this will not be a problem. But if any of your images are in portrait orientation, or you have a combination of both, then we'll have a small problem to fix. I want to show you this way first and then show you a better way. Go to the move tool and you can drag the logo to any place on your screen that you would like for it to be and then press return whenever you were done. From here, we'll create our script. And so we're gonna to go to File, Scripts, Image Processor. And this gives you many, many options. In this case, this is going to be where the images are. Use the Browse button to locate the images you want to watermark. Personally, I always copy my images into a new folder so that I won't accidentally erase or save over them. So once we choose that folder, then we'll open it up. Then we will choose our destination folder. And I have made a folder that is where the watermarked, the final watermarked images are going to go. And I'll click open on that also. Now we have our file type and our quality. 12 is the highest quality. I want it to save as a JPEG. And then I want it to run an action and so I locate my watermarks and the image that I want it to use, and then I'll hit run. Now you'll see each image load, attach the action, and save it as a new file. When the process has completed, you can use the finder to locate your watermarked images. And so I'll come over to finder and go to the watermarked images, open that up, and we can see the watermark is on this bottom corner, except what happens whenever we go from landscape to portrait mode. The image stayed exactly where it was, but it didn't stay down in the corner. It's just there. So it's partially cut off in the wrong spot. And that's not what we had intended for it to do. We're going to need to do that again. So we're going to go back out here and locate our 2B watermarked images and I'm going to go ahead and open that up with Photoshop again. 
This time we're going to make a small correction. And so we still have our watermarks folder. I'm not going to use this one because I take pictures and I never know which way they're going to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and drag it to the trash can. So I will create a new action and I will name it the same thing and click record. So I will go to file, place embedded. I will locate that. I don't need to resize it. It's already the size that I want. So I'll hit the check mark, go ahead and select the move tool. I'm also going to come up to the top of the screen, hit select all. And so now everything is selected. And instead of dragging the words to the bottom right corner, I'm actually going to use the align bottom edges and align to the right edge. So by default, I'm telling Photoshop, hey, I always want you to go to this bottom corner. And then it is done. And so I'm stopping my action from that point. So now if I want to do a bulk action set, I'll come over here, go back to scripts, go to image processor. And these are going to be the same. I haven't changed anything. And then it's still going to be under watermarks with my logo and I'll hit run. And as you can see, it's going back through the images and it's reprocessing them. Once that reprocess has completed, I will go over to my folder. I will locate the watermarked images. And so what it has done, it, the thing that I like about this is it's just, it's kept the original and then it named the newer version with an underscore and a one. And so it went numerically through that list. So we can see that it's still in the bottom right corner. So let's go ahead and grab a, so now we notice that this one is also in the right hand corner. So that was the old one and that's the new one. And so you can really see how it moved it from there to there just by changing the alignment rather than selecting, clicking and dragging it to that location.